hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are taking a look at the new truly me dolls that have just released and i have to thank and give a shout out to three instagram accounts because i will be using their pictures and thank you so much for letting me provide them in my video so the first one is at teacher mo creations on instagram ag doll and a girl and sydney american girl news so um, I'm starting off with my favorite of the new Truly Me dolls, which pretty much looks just like a dark skin Yvette. She has a Josefina mold. Um, I believe those are like supposed to be hazel eyes. And then she has um, a black curly wig that looks just like Yvette's. And I have to say, I'm just disappointed because American Girl keeps making the Josefina's mold so darn skinny. I love the chubby faces. Again, if you've been a collector for a long time, or even if you do a comparison, you will see that the molds keep on getting skinnier. I don't care too much about the bodies getting skinnier because they still look proportionate, but like, why are you taking something that was so good and just keep on tweaking it to the negatives? I don't understand. And also, the eyes it just bought it just bothers me because look at the right eye you could see white under her pupil whatever it's called and on the left one that's not the case i don't like that their quality control is still not um up to par especially for you know the prices that we pay for these dolls so that's my take on it but i do think that she is the prettiest from the bunch again i'm going to continue on and show you guys pictures and even comparisons um a lot of people were saying that she was supposed to originally be yvette but american girl tweaked it probably because they don't they don't think that dolls of color sell that well um which is sad because i feel like i think they're really pretty and um i love having them in my collection and I think this doll is stunning. Like, she really is. I just feel like the eyes bother me. And I would have preferred for her to have the chubby cheeks. So, that's my little take. Here's a picture of her with her hair down. It's literally the same as Yvette's. I guess in, like, texture, the pattern, and everything. It's just a different color. So, I know a lot of people were very hesitant to buy Yvette because... They didn't know how to manage her hair. And honestly, there's still not really a way to manage it per se. It's just I don't touch it. And if you do, there's not much you can do about it. Um, but I I have a vet and I literally don't touch it. The only thing I do to her hair or have done to her hair is put two little clips on the side just to take the volume away because it was... It was, I don't want it to spread and then kind of like lose its curl. It'll get a little bit too fluffy for my personal liking. Um, but I do think that the wig is stunning. Like, I really do love Yvette's hair. Um, but I can see for like a child that will get matted so quick and it'll look a hot mess. So, again, thank you so much to Teach Mo Creations because she was so nice enough to send me these comparison pictures. And I have to say, the dolls look very alike. Now that I'm into Ruby Red Fashion Friends, where they have removable wigs, you literally can make your one doll that you have into like a million different characters by just switching out the wig. And I feel like with American Girl, obviously they're going to get to a point where it's like, okay, how many combinations can you possibly make? to have a different doll they're looking pretty darn similar like too similar to have in my collection um i don't know if i've said this in another video but i do want to make a more meaningful collection so i don't want to have dolls that look too similar um or that could pass for cousins like they literally look like they're related um i'll say the one on the left i don't know her number but she her gray eyes create more of a contrast and she has that colorful hair i personally would have picked the new truly me doll because she has that neutral beautiful curly black wig and her hazel eyes just look a little bit more like neutral i know other people were saying that american girls like allergic to brown eyes um which i can see why they say that because i feel like it would have been a little bit more natural for them to have her with brown eyes but 
So we have here the new Truly Me doll and we have Truly Me 80, which is retired. I think she's still on the sale that they currently have, but it makes such a difference when the skin, not the skin tone, I'm sorry, the lip color looks different. I feel like the new Truly Me doll has a better lip color um, than this brown. I don't like the brown lips. Um, I saw somebody on AJG change her lip color to something a little bit more like neutral and like pink and it looked so nice and she added more blush to her and holy smokes she literally has the prettiest truly me 80 i actually prefer the eyebrows on the left i just feel like it looks more fuller it looks it's giving 2024 eyebrows it looks nice so that's just my personal opinion um and look at the wig Okay, so on Truly Me 80, the wig is a little bit higher, which gives her a bigger forehead, which makes her face look longer versus the one on the left. I don't know if you guys are all taking that into account, but these are little like things that I notice that makes a difference on your doll. Um, but again, gosh, it's really hard. If I had to pick between these two, um, I don't know who I'd pick. Unless I tweaked Truly Me 80, I think I'd go with the new Truly Me doll. But let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you have all of these dolls in your collection, are you going to downsize <clears throat> or, <clears throat> I'm sorry, <laughs> my voice cracked, or <clears throat> are you just going to keep them all? Because to them, to you, they're different enough. Correct me if I'm wrong, but allegedly she has Blair's skin tone. She has hazel eyes and she has a long blonde, kind of sandy blonde, wavy wig. She looks like Blair. She looks like Truly Me 83. And again, it goes back to me saying that like American Girl is gonna be redundant with dolls. If you wanted to, you could take her wig off and put um like a red one and it'll be Blair if you miss out on Blair. Um, she also looks like 83, as I said. You could switch and put a platinum curly wig on, and then you have 83 because she sells for a pretty penny. She's like $200 um or like 170 but yeah i personally don't want to add this doll to my collection um she's just not doing it for me i think she is cute but because i have truly me truly me 83 in my collection i don't need her um and at one point i even wanted blair i love blair's collection but it's like for what you know what i'm saying but i think this will be easy for a lot of people because she has wavy hair and um i mean she's cute but she's just not all that for me here you go guys perfect proof in the pudding about how the quality control is just disgusting look at her eyes this could be an illusion but it's their fault as well if you look at the left eye her eyelash is curled all the way up and so it makes her eye look bigger. If you look at the right one, the lash is just going straight and it's not going all the way up. So you can actually see the eyelid kind of that's supposed to be on top of her. And on the left one, you don't see that. So it makes it look uneven. It makes it look wonky. And it's annoying. Like, I know that American Girl sales are not doing good, which is why they decided to put the girl of the year earlier instead of obviously in january just to make sales better please listen to us we are the one we are the consumers we're the one putting the money in your pockets listen to us fix these quality control issues and we will be buying more because there's no way that we can fix the eyelash i've never heard of anybody fixing the eyelash never not once on a gig or a g tube ridiculous so we have here the classic mold. She has medium brown wavy hair. She has kind of, I think it's Kit's blue eyes. And to be honest, she does absolutely nothing for me. I get upset time over time about them having the skinny face molds, but it is what it is. I'm sure they're not going to change it. But the peach lips is literally pulling orange. Again, if you look back at older retired American Girl dolls, they had the most perfect pink lips and the prettiest pinch of pink blush that gave them life. And it was a perfect combo. I don't know why they keep switching things and making it worse. I don't know. 
Um, and the eyes look so small too. Like, oh gosh, I need to do like a comparison video one day. Let me know if you guys want to because it's just so upsetting. But yeah, I do think that this might doll, this doll might sell well because I feel like it is a common combo to have like brown hair, blue eyes. Um, so you know, American girl has to think, has to think strategically. But um, like I said, this doll doesn't do anything for me. You know what, looking at this, I don't know if both of them have Blair skin tone or if they have the classic, you know, normal skin tone. Um, but here's another pet peeve of mine. If you look at the doll on the left, she has full lips. If you look at the Josefina mold, you can see the border of her lips, like where it should have been filled in and it's a knot. Why are they doing that and why do they think that's okay? They gave the other girl full lips and like with that mold, you don't notice the lip line that much. But with the Josefina mold, you do. So I feel like it would make more sense to make sure that the Josefina molds, their lips are filled in entirely where you don't see that weird like bump. <sighs> I don't know. Let me know if you guys understand what I'm talking about or I know I'm not alone on this. I know that because I have friends on EJG and we talk about the same things. But it's just like, get your stuff together, American girl, please. This is another Truly Me doll that they have added. She has black straight um, wig and she has hazel eyes, freckles, Josefina mold. And to me, immediately I thought of Leela, Lila, I don't know how to say it. Please correct me. But she literally looks like her, like so much to me. Um, I feel like a lot of people will like her because she does have cute freckles. And I feel like they look she has more freckles than the original like cyo freckle generator thing um so i'm a fan of freckles i really like that and luckily she does have eyes that are the same size and you can see she has straight lashes which is nice her eyebrows look good um she has full lips i just personally wouldn't add her to my collection because i have a lot of dolls um but everybody has their own their own criteria for what they want to add to their collection so that's totally fine if you want to pick her up i'll definitely like enjoy looking on ajg of other people um but yeah to me nothing special she's cute she's there she does have um which is hard to show in this picture but she does come with a new truly me outfit um it's a plaid one and it says ag on it and uh excuse me <clears throat> yeah nothing too special Here's another picture of her and I just wanted to show you the inconsistencies because if you look at her right eye, it looks a little wonked out and it looks like it's looking to the side and not straight like the other one. The lashes do look fine, it's just the eye is just a smidgen over. Um, but yeah, this is what you're this is why it's so important to go to your store and pick out a doll in person. But it's sad because a lot of doll stores have been closing and people don't have that accessibility anymore so they just have to order online and wish the best or play that game of returning which is not fun when you're paying this kind of price to me this doll is not exciting because she is a retired doll that all they did basically was give her new eyebrows and give her the lashes and make her face even skinnier <laughs> completely ridiculous but it's good for people who missed out on the previous um version of this doll i know a lot of girls like the cotton candy colored look so they'll definitely be able to purchase this doll which is great but um myself i have no need for this doll in my collection and um it just bothers me the skinny face mold forever i know i sound like a broken record but that's how much it bothers me so these are two new outfits and i want to say that right off the bat the pink hat reminded me of Grace's I think her little meat hat that she came with I think the hat is cute I like the hat I don't like the dress personally but of course if you were like a little child I think anything pink and glittery would get your attention so it'll probably be a good seller um the outfit on the left 
I don't like and I also feel like they repurposed the skirt I've definitely have seen that around somewhere whether it was attached or not attached to something that's been there before um it seems like the shirt just says love which is cute um I wouldn't want the blazer either I just it's not doing much for me and they have a huge logo that says AG but it is what it is um yeah I just um I'm not wowed by this collection. When I saw the sneak peek, I was like, oh, hmm, like maybe because it's like pink and girly. But um, I do think it'll sell well because, again, a lot of people love pink. Here's a better look at that outfit. It does come with a headband, which I hadn't seen before. Um, and it comes with these glittery two-toned sandals. I didn't notice that this dress comes with pink boots. I feel like that's the only thing that I'd want. They're cute. I don't remember. Or I feel like I don't have a lot of pink boots from AG, so that would be nice. But the ruffle dress for me is a personal no. And these are so cute and they're right up my alley. I feel like American Girl should have made them all black and I feel like it would have sold so much. Or no, I feel like it'll sell so much better, at least in the adult community. But honestly, them even being pink are cute. I just would prefer all black. Um, and I'm excited about these. If you're a DIY person, you could totally find a way to paint the pink black. And uh, the dolls will look so cute. Oh my god, I love these. I really do. They did their thing with it. I know for sure that these are going to sell super well. They're very cute. I love it and I feel like everybody... Whether you're a child or an adult, you're going to love this shoe. We got some white tennis shoes, and they remind me of Adidas, right, with a little star. And then it has a smiley face patch. So cute. I, honestly, I would put this on my doll. Um, it would have been better if it didn't have the smiley patch, but I'm not mad about it. Um, it's just, you know, it's so cute, guys. Oh, my God. I'm going to wait for them to go on sale um, if I plan on snagging them up because, you know, they're just releasing it now, but who knows. I remember that when they came out with the Love Shack Fancy um, collab, I was like, oh my god, I have to get my hands on these. They're going to sell out and they were on sale for quite some time. So definitely don't rush to get something because um, they always have sales. Just a little tip. So here you can see all of the shoes that they have out. The bottom two are boots. I feel like, um, no, well, I know I had shoes like the ones on the bottom left. At least that tone that's kind of like a dark rainbow chrome vibe. Um, so I think a lot of girls are going to gravitate towards that. They're very cute. And then we have some really nice purple vibrant kind of like platinum cowboy shoes i feel like they're really fun um i don't know if i'll personally get them but uh i do think they're fun and i'd like to see how people style them but yeah they look so cute the shoes and look how chunky the loafers on the top look that's gonna give your girls some height really really cute this is really cute over here because this is an accessory tote bag that American Girl has released and I feel like this is the first time that they've come out with something like this and it's genius because we need storage. People need to put their accessories, clothing, freaking food items in things and it has their branding on it so it's cute. I don't know if somebody would buy like 20 of these to store things, but I feel like one is really cute. Maybe maybe even if you want to put like all your hair stuff in it and on the top you could have like the brush and the little wet spray. I don't know, but I definitely do want to snag up one of these. I'll probably wait for it to go on sale, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, I want to get my hands on that. It's cute, you know, um, but yeah, I think it's whoever is on their marketing team or whatever their thinking because it's taken them this long to finally think of something like that i'm pretty sure that this is the same tote bag as the picture before it's just laying on its side but it does continue that um uh, that design of the red with the rainbow star which i think looks really cute and i like that the top is kind of see-through clear so that you can see okay in this bag i have so and so and whatnot and it would be cute if they came out with a smaller one as well um just so you can put like okay i have food in this bag in the next bag i have like coffee shop stuff i don't know i just i do like organizing my doll stuff it just gets 
there has to be a better way of keeping it all together without it being a mess without without it being in a million ziploc bags and all of that stuff but i think it's cute i surprisingly really do enjoy making these videos about my thoughts on the new stuff that american girl comes out with especially the dolls because later on my my opinion changes or sometimes it doesn't but it's quite different when you do see a doll in person um or even on videos and pictures of on AGIG sometimes the doll grows on you but from what I have showed you guys please let me know what you think are there any dolls that are must-have that you want or are you kind of like not super impressed like I am like this is a girl that I think is like top-notch out of the five you know or the four others yeah <laughs> um and thank you guys for watching